So I want to just read this article to you guys. Um, so um, this is coming out of uh, one of the local uh, Knoxville, Tennessee newspapers. So the title of the article is Rangers Kill Black Bear in Smokies After It Attacks. 16-year-old girl in hammock. Rangers said the teen was sleeping when the bear attacked. They said the family had taken all proper precautions for food storage. Okay, that tells you right there that the bear was not interested in the food that they had. The bear was interested in the teenager, and he was looking at the teenager who was a male bear. And the male bear was interested in the teenager possibly as a meal. Okay, um, so this happened not far from Cosby, Tennessee. Rangers shot and killed a black bear Friday after a 16-year-old girl was attacked while sleeping in a hammock in the Great Smoky, Nation, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Excuse me. Uh, according to park officials, the girl was camping with her family at Backcountry Campsite 29 in the Cosby section of the park. When the attack happened, the family was able to drive the bear away and call for help. Now, uh, there have been a lot of bear attacks in the Smoky Mountains, and the reason why is that national parks, there's no hunting allowed in national parks. So a lot of these uh, predatory animals like bears, they have no fear of people because nobody's trying to kill them. And also their populations are much denser because no one's hunting them. So that's why you always see the worst bear attacks in national parks. And uh, the Smokies, there, there was a predatory bear attack a few decades ago in the Smokies. So, um, and so it happened about 12.30 a.m. on Friday. When Rangers arrived, they provided medical care to the teen who had multiple cuts on her body, including to her head. The Tennessee Military Department and Tennessee Emergency Management Agency were alerted shortly before 7 a.m. on Friday about the wounded teen. A Knoxville-based Tennessee Army National Guard UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter arrived at the campsite about 8.45 a.m. A critical care paramedic rode a hoist down to the site, assessed the team with rangers. They have fallen in the attack condition, according to park officials. Two bears were spotted in the area following the attack. One larger male entered the campsite several times. Despite the rangers' attempts to scare it away, the family identified it as the bear that attacked the team. So rangers shot and killed it. Wildlife biologists confirmed that there was human blood on the euthanized bear. The closure follows another Appalachian Trail camping closure issued on June 2nd, 2021. Uh, 452 and 456 mile. So on June 10th, they issued a closure a closure for 245 to 253 and June 2nd they issued 452 to 465 and that's out of the whole Appalachian Trail look how big that motherfucker is god damn and only this part was closed So only this part was closed and this part was closed out of that whole fucking thing and this is where that bear attacked on the 17th and this is where Summer lives We've uh, just released a paper today in the Journal of Wildlife Management which summarizes 110 years of incidents of fatal attacks of black bears on people. Basically, we found that uh, during the past decade, about two people a year were killed by black bears, and that uh, the incidents are distinct in, in their character. They're easy to recognize if you know what you're looking for. A typical bear, when it's excited or aggressive, makes a lot of noise. <coughs> or swats the ground or does things to draw attention to it and say, look, I'm a threat. But the, uh, the bears that occasionally kill people are ones that do it very stealthily, much like you would expect a predator to do. They get close to a person and then they charge, usually without making any noise. What's different in the behavior uh of a predatory attack. Well, you're going to get all those same stresses before, the grunting, the snorting, uh, the chomping of the milk, but you're also going to get a stalking behavior. Um, they're going to, the bears will stand and display strength. Uh, they're constantly advancing and probing you. They're trying to circle, go around you, um, maybe get you to trip and look for some sort of advantage. And of course, they basically charge you. So this bear is a bluff charging. He's trying to get around the people. Um, he's looking for an opportunity, he's trying to get them to the back of the leg or to bait a trip or some sort of an opportunity so he can continue the attack. And here's the example of uh, showing some strength by uh, pulling branches off a tree or climbing up a tree a little bit. But he continues the attack, he's not, he's not going up a tree to get away, he's going up a tree to uh, show a display of strength. Here. Short strides, wide straddle, to the uh, most places, everywhere my feet go. It's pretty obvious right here by the log. And this is your spring. So, we're going to put it up here. The trail heads on, you can see it up there. 
pretty obvious, but also up here, very warm, and a lot of damage to the vegetation here, because the bears possibly come in here to wallow. Um, I know they've used it in the past as a wallow. Might also be a drinking water source. This is Normally they work upright, like the one in the background there. But this one clearly is knocked over. This one here also shows some signs being knocked over. So come over here and look at the base. So see right here, area of disturbance and flattening. The grass has been mashed down. The same thing underneath here. In between the two of them, look how that grass has been mashed down in that direction, which is the general direction that both of these bushes are leading this one and this one. So, the bear came up here, straddled this, and walked over it, basically. You can see the, uh, that was me, but right here, this is the sign of the bear. There, so, the bear came up here, straddled this, walked over it, left scent on it, Someone, someone, someone It'll make you feel like